Okay, so I pretty much just set this experiment up with um, some things that I have in the ha around the house. So these are just some um, recycled condiment cups from takeout. And what I did was I I drilled holes into the bottom. So you can see I, I put uh, seven holes into the bottom of each for drainage. And then so that the sediments didn't uh, fall through the holes, uh, which is particularly important with the finer sediments, I just took a coffee filter and I folded it into fours and then I traced the bottom of this cup and I cut out four filter circles. So I put one in the bottom of each cup and then I wet the filter to create a nice seal and then I added my sediment. So I added my gravel, my coarse sand, my fine sand, and then I made a mixture of 50% gravel and 50% fine sand. Well, the reason why this one is just a little bit darker is just because there's more magnetite in the fine sand. Um, but we're not dealing with anything like that right now, so that shouldn't really make a difference. Okay, so I'm now going to place each of these uh, funnels, if you will, on top of a catch a container to catch the water. And I'm going to run water through these before I begin the experiment. The reason being is that if the sediment is dry, it's going to take a while for water to fill the pore spaces. And that's going to create a lag time before we start to actually see what the true discharge is through these sediments. So what we want to do is pre-wet the sediments and then we want to begin our experiment. So I'm just going to run some water through these. And this part, it's not particularly crucial to have the exact same measurement that you run through here. But what you want to do is you want to make sure that you get enough water in there that it's going to saturate uh, your sediments. So then you'll just wait a little while until that's done dripping. And while I'm waiting, I am going to um, measure out 100 milliliters into four different containers so that when I'm ready to start my experiment, I can just add 100 milliliters of water to each of these. All right, so as these are uh, finishing dripping, we're just going to dump this excess water into a little waste container over here. And then this will be ready to go uh, for when I start the experiment. I'll wait for the rest of these uh, to finish up and then we can start.